Good evening, and welcome to the kickoff of an American Music Jubilee, our year-long celebration of the birth of American music. I'm Gio Cooper, and I'm representing the Fisk Jubilee Singers alumni, generations of singers that were members of the Fisk Jubilee Singers while they were students at Fisk. Now, everyone loves music, I'm sure, and American music is all over the globe. So what's your favorite? Is it jazz or is it blues? Maybe your favorite is gospel or R&B, hip hop, country. Well, these are all different styles and forms of American music. So tonight, we're gonna tell the story of the birth of American music and of America's first global music superstars. So, take a listen. Learn more about the Fisk Jubilee Singers. Visit their YouTube channel. YouTube.com forward slash Fisk Jubilee Singers. Also, visit our alumni page Fisk Jubilee Singers Alumni.org. In 1892, the great maestro Antonin Dvorak came to America to head New York's National Conservatory of Music. Dvorak's main goal in America was to discover, quote unquote, American music and engage in it, much as he had used Czech folk music idioms within his own music. Shortly after his arrival in America, Dvorak wrote a series of newspaper articles reflecting on the state of American music. He supported the concept that African American and Native American music should be used as a foundation for the growth of American music. He felt that through the music of Native Americans and African Americans, Americans would find their own national style of music. Well, <laughs> Dvorak's salary was soon cut. <laughs> and his position over the conservatory basically phased out. However, his assessment of American music rings as true today as it did way back in 1892. For you see, the music of black America is one of America's major cultural exports. Black music is celebrated in the world's most remote regions, places where you'd never expect to find it. In Siberia, in Korea, Australia and New Zealand, even scientists in Antarctica and astronauts in outer space can be seen and heard enjoying the strains of the music of black Americans. So here's my question for you out there in Cyberland. When did all this begin? From where did this music originate? And who were the first ones to bring this music to the forefront? The answer? The answer is these guys right here, the Fisk Jubilee Singers. They started it all. Before them, black music was only heard in the private spaces of black America, the slave quarters and the cotton fields and the camp meeting down by the riverside. It wasn't until after the Civil War that the rest of America became aware of these strange new songs. Throughout this year, you're gonna hear more and more about the Fisk Jubilee Singers and their incredible triumphant first tours and their enduring 150 year legacy that established one of America's greatest universities. So now, let's kick it all off, cause this ain't a lecture. This is gonna be a celebration a celebration not just for black America, but for all America. 2021 is the year of an American music jubilee. So stay tuned and we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> 